Taking your Spanish to the next level means mastering expressions. That's why today we are going to focus on 25 key tener expressions that you are going to use to sound more natural. So imagine that you have no money and you want to be a little bit dramatic. You are going to use phrase number one. No tener donde caerse muerto. No tengo donde caerme muerta y quieres que te preste dinero? I'm flat broke and you want me to lend you money? Maybe you should lend me some. In Spanish, to be tactful means tener tacto. As in, no inventes, no tienes tacto para estas cosas. You should not be giving bad news. Have you been in those situations where no matter what you do, the situation can get any worse? That's tener nada que perder. For example, ay, dile, total, no tienes nada que perder. Tell him, in the end, you don't have anything to lose. This is me giving love advice. Don't follow my love advice. How would you say take place in Spanish? Tener lugar. For example, el accidente tuvo lugar en la carretera. The accident took place in the highway. Now, I want you to check the next examples because I used two key phrases with tener. No tengo idea de qué quiero hacer. ¿Tú qué tienes en mente? I have no idea what I want to do. What do you have in mind? Any fun plans? When we want to ask what's the relation or the connection that someone has with an action, we say tener que ver con. ¿Qué tienen que ver con la broma que me hicieron? What do you guys have to do with the prank they play on me? Were you involved? The next expressions are tener la culpa, to be one's fault, and tener a la mano, to have on hand. For example, yo no tengo la culpa de que no tengas tus cosas a la mano. You probably know that ser gracioso means to be funny. Another way you can say that in Spanish is tener gracia. Lo que dijiste no tiene gracia. Maybe a little bit. In Mexico, tener su chiste expresses that something has its tricks. For example, ¿Qué creían? Cocinar tiene su chiste. What do you think? Cooking has its tricks. You can also use the negative form no tener chiste to say that something's really easy. For example, ay, no exageres, cocinar no tiene chiste. Ah, oh, don't be dramatic, cooking is not that difficult. Really? Do you want to try what I cooked? Tener claro means to be sure about or to be clear on. For example, tienen claro lo que tienen que hacer? Do not confuse it with tener entendido. Tener entendido means to be under the impression. As in, tenía entendido que era para ayer. I was under the impression that it was for yesterday. What happened? How would you say to be in a hurry in Spanish? And no, no es ser apurado. Es tener prisa. ¿Tienes cinco minutos o tienes prisa? Now I want you to pay attention to the next sentences. La bebé va a tener sueño y tal vez también tenga calor. Tengo cosquillas en los pies y Juan... Tiene dolor de cabeza. In Spanish, we often use tener plus a noun to express states or conditions such as tener sueño, tener calor, tener cosquillas o tener dolor de cabeza. Other common combinations that you can also make are tener frío, tener miedo, tener sed, tener celos, tener flojera, tener hambre, I'm always hungry, tener temperatura, tener náuseas y tener vergüenza. Ten cuidado because a common mistake people make is mixing these nouns with the verb ser. The verb ser is only used to describe characteristics that relate to your identity. I know, siempre tengo hambre, I'm always hungry, but come on, that's not my identity. There is more to me. If you were paying attention, you probably heard me using tener cuidado. Tener cuidado means to be careful. For example, Ten cuidado y no mezcles ser con tener. One of my favorite expressions with tener is tener ganas, to feel like. En tener ganas, you can combine it with an infinitive to talk about the activities that you feel like doing or with a noun to talk about cravings. For example, ¿qué tienes ganas de hacer? Yo tengo ganas de churros. Now, what do you think the tener expressions in the next example mean? Tienen razón. Esto no tiene sentido. You're right, this doesn't make sense. Imagine that you and I are going to go to the store, but we know that it closes at 2. It's 1.50 and you're just sitting without doing anything. So I will go to you and say, Hey, ten en cuenta que cierran a las dos. Keep in mind that they close at 2. How would you say to be known for or to be famous for in Spanish? One of the ways you can say this is tener 
fama de. For example, Carlos y su esposa tienen fama de ser muy generosos. Carlos and his wife are known for being very generous. In Mexican Spanish, tener palanca o tener palancas means to have connections. For instance, Juan entró a la universidad porque tiene palancas. Juan got into college because he has connections. In standard Spanish, you can simply say tener contactos. Si tienes ganas de practicar tu español, if you feel like practicing your Spanish, I'm going to leave you a link in the description so you can take this same lesson in my Spanish Immersion channel. I'm also going to leave you a link to a guide with more tener expressions. You're going to find more advanced expressions that are not so common on everyday situations, but that can help you sound more natural. So that's it for today, guys. If you found this video helpful, please let me know by hitting the like button and I hope to see you soon again. Bye.